Good morning, I'm Marco Zuppelli and today I will present you Pickup Stego, which is a tool that we developed that enabled the investigation and the experimentation of network over channels. So first of all, uh, I want to give you some, uh, some background. Uh, modern malware is increasingly uh, using uh, information hiding and steganography techniques to um, conceal its presence into digital objects such as uh, uh, images, um, audio files, or traffic. Uh, through the usage of these uh, capabilities, it is possible for malware to remain unnoticed and evading security mechanisms. Uh, moreover, um, it is possible to deploy multi-stage loading architectures, uh, orchestrate attacks, uh, obfuscate code, and uh, implement covert channels. Uh, this work uh, is focused on uh, the usage of uh, covert channels. Uh, there are many unfortunate uh, success stories of real attacks uh, that are also uh, really recent. For example, Stimide, which is June 2021, uh, it was, it is an attack where the malicious code is embedded into metadata of images. Uh, another attack is uh, the Sunburst, where the data uh, was hidden within HTTP response bodies. And uh, another example of attack is a Titanium APT, November 2019, where a DLL with backdoor functionality is embedded into PNG files. So as I said, this work is focused on the usage of uh, covert channels and in particular storage network covert channels, which are covert channels that target uh, uh, network and network uh, traffic features, um, where a covert sender is able to embed uh, the secret information directly uh, within uh, uh, network packets, uh, such as, uh, uh, for example, he can use uh, unused bit of uh, some uh, header protocol. And a covert receiver is able to retrieve this information and uh, collect all the secret data. There are several issues to deal with when we want to investigate steganographic threats. For example, there is the need of uh, precise methodologies. Uh, each hiding technique requires specific trials. Uh, in fact, the trials for storage network covert channels are completely different from uh, uh, trials for timing covert channels, which uses the timing, the time behavior of, uh, of network packets. Uh, and also there is a general lack of uh, uh, real malware samples to use and to experimenting with. Uh, specifically for the case of network over channel, uh, there are uh, other uh, problems uh, such as uh, uh, network traffic is hard to obtain due to the uh, GDPR and the privacy uh, problems. Um, traces needs to be complete in order to consider different uh, and uh, most of the possibilities in terms of protocol and traffic features that can be used to contain uh, secret information. Uh, and again, there is uh, a scarcity of public measurements to, to use. There are two main possible approaches that, that are to develop uh, toy attacks, uh, but this task is uh, time consuming, and to simulate uh, attacks. Uh, but this uh, will lead to, uh, for example, accuracy issues. For all uh, these reasons, we developed the Pickup Stego, which uh, enabled the investigation of network over channels. Uh, specifically, it allows to create uh, storage network over channels, exploiting real traffic traces uh, in the form of a pickup files, and uh, enable to test production quality scenarios and to perform a what-if analysis. Uh, the cover channels are created offline. Uh, this allows to create a large data set of samples that can be used to uh, perform tests and trials and uh, replicate experiments through uh, predefined uh, attack templates. The modified traces can be replayed through uh, real devices in order to perform uh, further trials in, uh, in, in realistic network conditions. So coming to the software architecture, uh, Pickup Stego is written in Python 3 and this version targets IPv6 traffic. Um, Pickup Stego considers two uh, input files that are uh, a pickup file containing the source traffic to, to modify and uh, a list of uh, secrets or attacks uh, to be transmitted via the cover channels. So the pickup file is parsed and uh, the conversation that fit uh, the secrets are found. Uh, once the conversation are found, the injection process, process starts. 
Um, this current version considers three injection mechanisms that are uh, the flow label, the traffic class and op limit fields of the IPv6 protocol. And uh, as a result, Pickup Stego produces uh, an output pickup file containing all the original packet, uh, along with the modified conversation to contain the, the secrets. Uh, moreover, uh, Pickup Stego produces a CSV file for log purposes and uh, for the extraction process. Um, there are two uh, working modes that are the interactive mode, which is done for uh, training purposes, and uh, the, the bulk mode for generating uh, large data sets to, um, to make experiments and uh, to uh, prepare trials. So now I want to show you how uh, interactive mode and the bulk mode works. Uh, so let's start with the, the first mode. Um, here uh, I want to I want to inject a secret file uh, which contain uh, this is a test uh, string. So I'm launching uh, the injector.pi uh, script which take uh, the input um, pickup file uh, that is a pickup example dot pickup, the attack to inject which is the test.txt file, and the field that I want to to target. So once it is launched, um, Pickup Stego uh, find the conversation that the conversation that uh, are able to contain the, the secret, and uh, in this mode the user can choose the conversation that uh, he wants to inject. In this case, uh, there is only one. So once the uh, conversation is uh, is selected, uh, Pickup Stego uh, embed the secret in the file and produces. Uh, the output file and uh, um, a CSV, the CSV file. Um, we also developed the, the extractor, as I said earlier. So in this case, uh, the user um, read the, the pickup, uh, the, the output pickup, uh, select the, the, the field that uh, he wants to, to extract and specify the number of packets uh, to, to inspect. Uh, also in this case, uh, some conversation are found. And once the user uh, selects the conversation that uh, he wants to extract, uh, Pickup Stego automatically extracts the, the payload. And uh, as a result, we have the, the same uh, attack uh, which we embedded earlier. Uh, instead, for the bulk mode, uh, we have uh, again uh, a simple interface through, through Python. Uh, which takes uh, um, the script take uh, the the file the pickup file to read and to um, and to modify and the list of attacks. In this case, the list of attacks is done in this way. So the first parameter specify the field that I want to, uh, that I want to target, and the second the second um, parameter is what I want to inject. Uh, in this case, uh, pickup stego works in the in, in the same in the same way, so uh, it parses the pickup file and it parses the data, the, the attacks. Uh, unfortunately, for uh, the attack at line four, which is traffic class and successful uh, attack, uh, there are no flows with enough packets, so uh, this attack will be skipped. And uh, pickup stego um, produces uh, again a, a pickup uh, output file and. A pickup output file and uh, a CSV file. Uh, instead, for the extractor fa extracting phase, uh, again the user uh, should specify the pickup uh, that he wants to to to, to parse, and uh, the CSV file containing all the informations of the flows that are uh, previously embedded. Uh, in this case, uh, pickup stego produces. Uh, um, another txt uh, file which contains uh, what uh, uh, the tool found. If we open the file, we can see that uh, everything is correctly uh, injected and extracted, um, except for the case of the attack that we were not able to, to embed. To prove the effectiveness of Pickup Stego, we prepared an experimental setup uh, considering realistic traffic traces collected by Kaida 
from NOC 192 link with more than uh, 35,000 of IPv6 conversations. And uh, we executed the uh, pickup Stego using a machine running Ubuntu 20 uh, with an Intel Core i9. Uh, we considered all the free injection mechanisms that uh, are available, so the flow label, uh, the traffic class, and open limit. Uh, so at first, we measured the execution time needed by the main functions of the tool to inject a secret of 110 bytes uh, within the flow label uh, in the interactive mode. Um, for these tests, uh, we used the pickup file composed of a diff different number of packets. Uh, and uh, as it's possible to notice, uh, the find flows function, which is uh, uh, the function in charge of finding uh, the conversation that uh, uh, are able to contain uh, the secret. Um, so uh, its performance increases uh, with the size of the traffic considered. Uh, fortunately, um, the performances uh, remain uh, limited and are acceptable uh, also for cases when uh, traces are uh, really large. Um, instead, the inject function uh, seems, the, seems to be the real bottleneck, and uh, to uh, better understand what, uh, what is happening, uh, what happens in the inject function, uh, we performed a, a breakdown of uh, this operation. Um, in particular, uh, the function can be split into uh, two main operations, uh, the read of the pickup, uh, which uh, again remains bounded in terms of execution time, uh, and the real uh, injection and write part uh, of, the, of the output pickup. Um, as you can see, the performances uh, heavily depend on the dataset used, and uh, specifically, they are due to the uh, IO nature of the read and the write operations and to limits of the SKPI uh, library, which is the one that we use to uh, parse uh, read and write pickup files. Uh, concerning the performances of the bulk mode, uh, in this presentation they are omitted uh, for simplicity, but uh, you can find more uh, details on the paper. Now I want to show you how to use uh, Pickup Stego to create metrics uh, that allows to spot the presence of uh, network over channels, uh, for example via uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithm. So, uh, with the same setup uh, introduced earlier, uh, Kaida traces and on the same machine. Uh, we considered the uh, channels targeting the flow label and the op limit field, and the secret data um, considering uh, the emotet malware payload and the two random strings. Uh, these uh, uh, these secret, uh, secret data are embedded uh, through the usage of uh, Pickup Stego, uh, and we uh, computed heat maps, uh, which uh, are uh, a, represent, a, rep a representation of the distribution of the values of the flow label and the op limit. Uh, and we compared the original replayed uh, traffic with uh, heat map with the uh, modified traffic heat map. Uh, speaking about the uh, flow label case, um, the flow label considered to, uh, is composed of uh, 2 to the power of uh, 20 values, uh, and uh, they are mapped into a smaller space uh, equals to 2 to the power of 8. Uh, since each flow label identifies uh, an IPv6 conversation, uh, through this representation we are able to uh, spot uh, and define uh, the flows. Uh, for example, A, B, and C uh, are flows um, that uh, are used to contain um, the secret information uh, embedded through the um, pickup stego. Uh, the resulting um, heat map uh, performed on the modified uh, pickup shows that A, B uh, are completely exhausted by the usage of uh, cover channels, while C is only partially consumed. Uh, data, secret data, can be found in terms of it in the rest of the heat map. Uh, instead, for the hope limit uh, field, uh, since uh, the, the range of values is uh, smaller, 2 to the power of uh, 8, we used uh, a one-to-one -one mapping. Uh, the input traffic shows uh, a clusterization around the 64 value, which is the default value used by uh, IPv6 packets. Uh, in this case, A, B, uh, and C values uh, have been selected to contain the secret information, and they are uh, exhausted by the, the, the usage of the cover channels. 
Um, the resulting heat map shows also that uh, there are two other values raised, uh, which corresponds to uh, D and A, uh, and corresponds to the value 10 and 250. These two values are used by Pickup Stego to um, encode bit uh, ones and zeros. So, in conclusion, uh, we show that uh, uh, Pickup Stego can be used to create, uh, uh, in an automatized way, the uh, network over channels within uh, realistic traffic traces. Uh, it allows to prepare large data sets to perform tests uh, and measurements, uh, and also allows to um, produce uh, AI-friendly matrix such as ETMAPS that can be used to spot uh, the presence of network over channels. Um, future works aim at extend uh, the tool, uh, including uh, more protocols, uh, for example, IPv4, uh, considering different traffic features and different cover channels, such as uh, timing uh, network cover channels, uh, and also uh, considering uh, uh, more injection poli policies and mechanisms. Um, also, we want to improve the all overall performances of the tool. Um, Pickup Stego can be found on GitHub at uh, this uh, link. So, Thank you. If you have any questions, please feel free to, to ask.